Hello everyone, NADLabs here, and today we have a bit of an issue. We have a timer in the top right-ish of the screen, and I'm actually going to be discussing uh, where this timer came from, why is it here, and what does it have to do with you and learning Godot, or using Godot. The point of this timer is that I'm actually taking a test, and this test requires me to answer questions quickly. As you can see over here, we have a 60 seconds, I can change it to be 90, 15, um, 30. I usually use 30 for my test uh, conditions when I practice, uh, but generally it's around 90 seconds for the test. I just want to do three times faster because I'm crazy like that. And on top of that, I also want to be able to understand when did the time, like how many seconds um, did were spent on a certain question. So let's say I was doing a question right now. I was trying to answer A, B, C, D. And by the time this timer's up, epilepsy warning, by the way, um, when it's up, it will flash lights at me and it will try to make me like move on. If I'm still stuck on the question and I really need to stop this timer, I can right click and make it slow, but it's still there on my screen and it's really annoying. Um, just for a heads up, the screen that the test is taken on, uh, black to white switch alert, but it's actually white. So when this is flashing on that white screen, it's a lot more annoying because it's the only thing that my eyes can really focus on. I guess the same applies when it's black, but it hurts a little bit more when it's white. On top of that, um, I can set whatever seconds I want. If you're wondering why four is there, I was using that for testing. But you can see here, I can have like 90 and then it will count down 90 seconds. So what's the point of this video? Well, the beginning part of this video or in the beginning of this video, I want to discuss a very key idea when you're making things in Godot, if it's apps or games, you want to first identify a problem. And when I say identify problem, I don't mean, um, oh, I want to do X, Y, Z. You have to clearly state what is the issue. For my test, the reason why I made this app the reason why this in my screen over this is on my screen over here is because I needed to solve two problems. I wanted to, um, I the first problem was that I was going slowly, I was too slow, and I would forget the time. Forget I would forget the time on my test, and I would like easily drift away like one or two minutes on my test, which is actually very important um, per question sometimes. And I wanted to be able to be aware of the time, and this timer helps me train with the time in mind. Um, What's the second point that I wanted to bring up in this video? I wanted to state the simplest solution. What's the, uh, so the simplest solution, uh, it's obviously the first thing that comes to your mind. And if you give it a bit of thought, it would be probably the best solution that you come up with. So what was my first idea? Well, obviously 90 seconds have just about passed. And the simplest, simplest solution for me was to use a timer. Okay. Uh, that is the simplest solution. If I'm, if I'm forgetting the time, what is the simplest solution to that? My problem using a timer, obviously. Um, if I'm going too slow, uh, obviously I just want to reset this and I don't want to like cause any epilepsy to anyone uh, watching. Oh, four seconds is a little bit too short. Um, six seconds, there we go. If I'm going too slow, what's the issue? The issue over here or the solution to this issue is not a timer, but it's an alarm. It's an alarm of sorts because if I'm going too slow, I want to make sure that I'm going a little bit faster than the alarm can take off. Timer counts down time, alarm kind of I guess both are kind of related to each other. Uh, alarm can be used. Uh, alarm can be used as a timer, but alarm has the idea of being alerting and uh, bringing me back to focus. So, how exactly do I go about making it, or at least what's the most important step? The most important step or idea in this is the third one, which is turn the simplest solution. Okay, so I'm abbreviating this with a small dot over here. Turn the simplest solution into components, into com comps, components. Uh, that you can make in Godot. And as you can see over here, if I break down this timer, if I actually break it down and I take you to the Godot scene that it's in, um, all this timer is, can I use my, no, I can't. All this timer is, is a node, uh, a label to count down the time, a progress bar to see how the timer is going, um, or a visually visual or to visualize the timer, an H box containing two buttons, a timer to count down the actual time, Another timer, um, honestly, the way I built it wasn't the best. You can use one timer for the entire project. I use two because it's simpler. Uh, a color rectangle to play the animations of flashing me when I am going too slow. Uh, and uh, all you have to do is kind of glue that together, which um, with a small like, oh, play when the timer timeout has happened, you know, play an animation. So what does that entail? If I was just going to draw it out over here, this kind of entails, you know, using a timer, using UI nodes, UI nodes. Uh, this entails if I'm breaking down my if I'm breaking down the simplest solution into parts that I can make in Godot um, parts I can make in Godot I can make a timer I can make a or I can use a timer node timer node uh, I can use UI nodes I can use um, this includes buttons to restart and whatnot whatnot uh, buttons I can use signals 
I can use signals. That's very easy. That's how the entire thing happens. Like when this timer is up, play something. I'm kind of breaking it down into simple bite-sized pieces. Uh, I need a way to visualize, visualize, and I need a way to like um, manipulate the operating system in a way to make this window always on top. This is actually its own independent window that I can click on, and I can even move around if I wanted to with the arrow keys. So I need a way to do that. And after all this, after breaking it down like this, it's not too hard to make something like this. Of course, I can do a small code walkthrough, which is just um, a couple of variables. Then I define what exactly I want uh, from, from everything. Uh, very simple. Like every one second, I want to decrease the number. Then I want to update that number. And then I just want to update the bar that I took the number from and then just print to make sure I know that it's happening. For example, over here, every one second, something happens. And then it will print out over here. Also update over there. And when timeout, I want to show the color rectangle. Oops. I want to show the color rectangle. I want to play animations. And all of this is very simple. It's a very simple idea. But when I combine all of them together in this simple app, it lets me do something where, oh, 60 seconds or 90 seconds have passed. Play an animation to uh, bring my attention back. And as you can see, if you're like wandering anywhere, like if, you, if your eyes are over here in the bottom left, they're kind of averted or they're kind of brought back to attention up here in the flashing corner because that's the idea of this app it's to remind you of the, the seconds and that's I, that's something i built in godot to help solve my problem of performing my test too slowly and i want to share this idea or at least this framework of breaking down your problems into little very clear two to three sentence words finding out the simplest solution by like clearly stating okay i'm going too slow or this enemy i need an enemy to do xyz what can i do um how can I break it down? Once you find a way to break it down, break it down into ways that you can build it in Godot and then actually go build it because I feel like the third step is not talked about enough because most of these simple solutions you could probably build in Godot. Very few, or I will be honest, very few actually require some sort of advanced algorithm, but even if they required some sort of advanced, even if they required some sort of advanced algorithm, who's to say you can't build it and make it and implement it, implement it and then make a tutorial about it because that's it kind of how this entire channel started. So I just wanted to make a quick video explaining that, hey, this is something I recently built in like 10, 20 minutes and it saved me a lot of time when I'm doing my practice questions because now I go a lot faster when I have to actually uh, perform my test. Uh, because like, let's say I do, uh, usually I use 30 seconds. Um, I said earlier that test, you, each qu test question takes about 90 seconds. If I do it in 30 seconds, that's three times the speed. If I'm doing the test three times faster, I'll be done within 30 minutes-ish. I can check my test over three times and I can make sure it's perfect. That's the way I see it. And that's the way to solve my problem because I already, did, I already did the test once. I didn't do too well. I want to retake it. So I'm obviously going to be training a lot harder. 3x harder is not out of my uh, reach. And by the timer ends, I will also be ending the video. Have a great day. Bye.